welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Agian, and here's what's happening in our territory. The Virgin Islands Police Department have arrested some of the Virgin Islands' most wanted. Here's News Channel 8's Glenn Drake with the details. Louis R. Torres was arrested Tuesday, February 3rd, and charged with unauthorized possession of a firearm, filing false information in the sales and weapons, and filing on Thanks, Jerome. recording Here's the latest in the instruments. VIPD crime Torres was previously convicted on August 9, 2001, and charged with grand larceny and deprivation of rights under color of blue, or perhaps color of law. Based on an affidavit submitted by the Virgin Islands Police Department Insular Investigations Bureau, an arrest warrant was granted on January 30th to arrest Torres. Torres was taken into custody and his bail was set at $75,000 pending further court action. Also in St. Croix, Yolanda Henry, 40 of Lorraine Village, was arrested Wednesday, February 4th, on a warrant issued by Judge Donahue on charges of misprison of a felony, also known as concealing a felony. Henry's bail was set at $80,000 by the judge, and she's awaiting further action by the court. Abdu Sek was arrested Wednesday, February 4th, by police on St. Thomas and charged with fraud, delivering and drawing worthless checks and grand larceny. Police said Sek wrote six checks totaling $28,000 with non-sufficient funds to cover the checks. Sex bail was set at $270,000 pending further action in the court. Devlon Bontomatria, also known as Devlon Maturin, 20 of Candido Guadalupe Housing Community, was arrested Wednesday, February 4th, by detectives of the Investigation Bureau on St. Croix and charged with grand larceny and burglary in the third degree. Police said Bontomatria burglarized the residence on March 2nd, 2007, removing more than $1,000 in goods from the home. His bail was set at $35,000. He has, or he was placed in the custody of the Bureau of Corrections pending further court action. Elvis W. Stapleton, also known as Steve Brow and Simon Stapleton, is wanted by the Virgin Islands Police in the District Court of St. Croix on charges of aggravated rape, first degree, child abuse, and disturbance of the peace by threats, domestic violence in connection with acts committed on an underage female minor. Stapleton is 45 years old, approximately 5'7 to 5'4 to 5'7 in height, and weighs between 110 and 156 pounds. He has clean shaven head, brown eyes, and a dark complexion. Stapleton is known to frequent the Lorraine Village apartments in Grove Place. If seen, detain and contact Detective Shallery at 712 6026. That's 712 6026 or police emergency 911. That's your VIPD latest police blotter. And in other news, a young man has been accused of running a $5,000 investment scam is now facing 28 criminal charges. News Channel 8's Lee Carl has the story. A young man accused of passing himself off as an investment advisor to lure people into giving him money, which the prosecutors contend he used fraudulently is facing 28 criminal charges in a trial that started in Superior Court Tuesday here in St. Thomas. Identified as Vinnie Gagliani, 21, charged with multiple counts of obtaining money by false pretenses, embezzlement by fiduciaries, violating the territory's investment advisor registration requirements, and general fraud engaging in practice prohibited conduct in providing investment advice, grand larceny, single counter drawing, and delivering a worthless check for crimes Prosecutors say he committed in 2006 and 2007. Now here's the story. Assistant Attorney General Claude Walker contends that while misrepresenting himself as an investment advisor, Gagliana built investors out of approximately $500,000. Gagliana's attorney, George Hodge, asserts the investments for which his clients were involved in foreign currency markets were high risk and investors who lost money simply did not want to accept their losses. As the trial got underway Tuesday, uh, Walker told the jury that uh, the case is about a man, a man who took advantage of his close friends and associates by lying to them and misrepresenting himself as an investment advisor, telling them he was skilled in investments in foreign currency markets with his own company, Gagliani Incorporated and Company. Now, Walker said Gagliani convinced the local business owner, two brothers, and a retired couple from Wisconsin to give him money to invest in foreign currency exchange through a company called Forex.com, an internet company which gives users access to foreign currency markets. 
specifically traders in the foreign currency market make money by either buying a currency when its value is about to go up or selling it later at a better price or anticipating the currency's value is heading downward and selling it at high price and then buying it back at a lower price later. The market is very volatile. Walker said the victims included Gerald Roy, the owner of Roy's Construction, who gave Gagliani reportedly $25,000. A short time later, Gagliani told Roy his investment had doubled and convinced Roy to give him an additional $500,000 so he could get special discounts from Forex. Meantime, he also was involved with Manfred and Hannah Newman, a retired couple from Wisconsin, who gave him $10,000. That money, the prosecutor, instead it never went to Forex. Gagliani uh, reportedly used to pay his bills. Another man, a Renan Harrigan, a friend of Gagliani's, gave him $2,400 and $1,000 cash to invest in the market. Prosecutor told jurors during the opening statements after the hearing the evidence would come to the conclusion that Gagliani is a lying con man who took advantage of friends. Now, that's about it here because it goes uh, beyond that. And the lawyer, Todd, contends Roy, who was going through a divorce, Gagliani didn't care whether the money Roy gave him was lost as long as his wife didn't get it. Hodge says that his client used the money as he said he would. Prosecuting testimony uh, started on Monday and is continuing today. So we have to wait and see what happens on this. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News.